Action. Action. Hey, y'all. Hello. Welcome to uh, Monday edition. Monday edition of H2O with the Mason. Yes. How y'all doing today? Welcome to our channel. Welcome to our channel where we talk. All ten of you. All things recovery and all of it's about me. I'm not afraid to tell you. All of it's about you? Well, I'm talking about the recovery part. I'm not afraid to tell the deepest, darkest, even most embarrassing. They got me there. So, wow. If you like the channel, uh, hit subscribe. If you like the video, um, hit the like button. If you don't, there's a thumbs down for that. You want to leave a comment? Have you had to get a comment yet? First comment gets a dollar cash. Four quarters. But tax free. We've been saving up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm keeping the pennies, but you know. <laughs> so, uh, what are we talking about a little bit? Oh. Today's well. topic has been that. Is he ready? Is he not ready? Is he ready? Is he not ready to go back to work? Yeah, I was, uh, last couple of days, I've well, been... Well, let's back it up to my bad day. I had a bad day. Well, yeah, she did have a bad day. I mean... Saturday. Bad enough to where I thought she was about to have, not really a nervous breakdown, but, you I know... I was hangry. A psychotic episode to where she was going to hide oh, some bodies. No, no, Yeah, and I was... not bad. And I was the bodies. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, she even yelled at the cat. Precious little kid. I was. Ooh. Yeah, she did. Shame it was. It was, it was a tough night, and I came home and semi semi took it out on him. I was just starving. Yeah, because I didn't have any food cooked. Because she didn't say she was gonna be hungry. No, I didn't. I didn't ask you to. <laughs> I so. It was just one. It was. I had a moment. Women. I'm allowed. You can't understand women, but yet you're supposed to understand women. I'm trying to lean on you. It's like, like, taking a stick to a gunfight. Anyways, yeah. so I had a bad day, and he's like, I, I'm going back to work. Blah, you can retire. Blah. Well, okay, want me to pick it up here? Yes. Okay, so two solid days after her bad day, I have been a bundle of anxiety and just confused because I don't want to go back to work too early to risk relapse because I can't do that again. And I don't want to go back to work for the wrong reason, which is simply because she's... Had a bad not, day. Yeah. So, I don't think I'm going back to work yet. We're praying about it. <clears throat> um, the bad thing is he'd already called his boss, his old mm -hmm. boss. But I think she would understand. My daddy uh, told me one time years and years and years ago, he said, if you want to know if something's right or wrong, if you have a second thought about it, it's more than likely wrong. So. Yeah, he's. I think he also could look elsewhere. But yeah, e economically, I... we don't need him to go back to work right now he's got a little time he's got mm -hmm. projects around here to work on um i think he was getting a little cabin fever would you say that not really cabin fever just you know Restless. Um, yeah, it's I, I want to be the breadwinner but i don't i don't want to i don't want to send us back down that no we can't that go there. slope to right oh, you might of, not be ready yeah. you're not ready you're not ready I just, I don't want to do it wrong. I don't want to do the wrong time. Okay. And this time I actually opened up my mouth and said what was on my heart. And I had no problem with it. It worked. I, I had all no problem All you guys out there, it. the women say they'll, they'll talk to you. Not all of them will. Try it. You'd be shocked. But if he's not ready, he's not ready. Yeah. So, I've been working hard today. Getting some stuff done around the house. And uh, getting a little sweat in. Got some cold days coming. Ooh, got to cut some firewood up. Got to, uh, I moved the goose pen. Got to check and make sure we got plenty of free uh, antifreeze in the vehicles. What else I do? Swept the floors. Yeah, you've been. been Childproof the house. You've been getting it this morning. Went shopping at went the grocery shopping. store. And, I slept uh, in and made lunch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I even fed the geese and chickens this morning. First time in what, two weeks? Um, no, I think you've done it else. But anyway, I'm yeah, talking about the morning room. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, let me sleep in. I need yeah. some rest. We actually were both up. We ha we were both having anxiety, which is really weird. We both have anxiety at the same time. Mm -hmm. And by the time we were finished talking about it, it was time for me to start working. So yeah. I see a nap in my future. Yeah, I'm probably gonna put about another hour or so in and take me a shower and take me a nap and yeah. I got a good pork chop. He's gonna make himself some pork chops. All right. So what else is on your mind? <clears throat> what else is on my mind? Um, 
Let me see. Let me see. Um, oh, I have a tip for anybody going through the nightmarish demon battle that I'm going through. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go ahead and break it down for them. Share it with them. Okay. When I was a child, four years old, I was molested by my cousin, male cousin. I suppressed it, told nobody. Nobody knew about this until I met her five years ago. She was the first person I ever told. That's doing the research, and the more I read about it, that's what's caused all my issues. So, what I'm going to do, that's I, may not, I, I may not ever mail it, but I'm going to sit down and write a letter to the guy and tell him exactly how I feel. Yep. I'm going to get that out on paper. I think you should. So, if anybody's fighting that same demon, get it on paper. You don't have to face-to-face -face confront your attacker, abuser. If you get it out of here... It's something that can no longer hold you back. And every day, once you get it out, it'll almost feel like an elephant just stood up from sitting on your chest. Trust me. That's actually one of the reasons I fought for him so long. Because he gave me, he gave me a nine month <clears throat> long battle to address his addiction. And I knew, I knew, in my mind, that was the why. He had just mm -hmm. never tackled it. I always felt like I was the victim, like I was powerless, you know? And I gave him a book. We'll, we'll dig out the book tomorrow. <clears throat> we'll dig it out tomorrow and talk oh, about yeah. it Oh, yeah. Awesome book. Awesome book. I, I, I actually, the the, um, the SpongeBob episode we did, what, was it a month ago? Yeah, that was the day I pretty much threw, threw that particular book at him and said, deal with it or I'm done. <laughs> I mean, what, you know, you we, got to. What we figured out I was doing was since since I was abused, I never lived life after that. So my my perception of life was that the abuse. So I the rest of my life I abused myself. And I know it sounds simple, but like you, you, when that stuff gets wired into your head as a child, it really yeah. Messes with your perception of what's normal and what's healthy. And since I've been reading the book, I've actually shared a little bit of it at my Thursday group and started to talk about it a little bit on Sundays. So, I'm proud of you. it's it's kind of wild. It's the most embarrassing thing I've ever been through, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to write the script for the rest of your life. It's not going to. It's not. It did for what 40, 47 years, forty seven and a half 40, years. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. no more. I broke that chain. I am no longer bonded there. So, if, if nothing else, if you don't want to tell anybody, write it on paper. Write it down on paper and be as as descriptive as you can. Because if, if it happened as a child and you're an adult now, the the details are going to be hazy, but you will remember it happened. You don't, you, you can't go like minute by minute, but just get it on paper. Get it on paper. It helps. All right. So, give us a verse. Okay. Hmm. Hey, how about this one? Chapter 9, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19. For though I be free from all men, yet I have made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. Nice. Basically, that's saying uh, you're here to serve. Jesus washed the disciples' feet, so we're here to serve. Don't ever, think, don't ever put yourself above anybody. If, if you see somebody that needs help, help them. Yeah. What you got? Right. What you got? Anything? Oh, you, well, you went serious. <laughs> Had to. It was time. It was, it was time. time. All right. It was it, time. It's, it's. We it's, told him from day one it was going to be transparent. Right. Yeah. So now you know that you other say part it, of the story. Yeah. That's true. I'm that, no longer scared. A, a lot of people have that issue. I'm no longer afraid of that ghost. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, I've I've got to go wrestle a three year old. <laughs> she wins all the time. All the time. We're saving a bail fund for her. We've talked yeah. about that. She came in one day. She has this bear that she sleeps with. She hands it to me. She's like, "Hold my bear and watch this." <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, lots of stuff to do this afternoon. Thanks for watching. Be safe and out there. God bless you guys, and can't six wait to days see you tomorrow. A week. Might tell a joke tomorrow. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye.